Someone asked me the other day what I do all day, and I said I move things around until they look right. And I suspect that that's as good a definition of graphic design as I could come up with. I've been doing it for centuries. I started back in the 40s, and I'm still doing it, partially because I have learned nothing else, and partially because I love the activity, I love making things. In my own experience, anything I've really discovered uh, has come through the act of work or making things. That the act itself is the path to discovery. And I have to say, one of the great problems in professional life, inevitably, when you're working for a client and towards an audience, is the fact that you basically have to be successful at what you're doing. And success drives you towards repetition, and repetition drives you towards immunity. So you keep doing the same thing over and over again because people know that's what you do, and they expect it. So if you draw Cocker Spaniels better than somebody else, you will get a lot of Cocker Spaniel jobs until you have mastered every aspect of that particular task and have lost interest in doing it. What happens in development of uh, people who are serious about their work is that they move towards what they don't know. Instead of mastery of Cocker Spaniels, they go on to goldfish or whatever else it is that basically takes them out of their expertise and puts them where there's a sense of jeopardy, where there's a possibility for loss, where they don't understand what they're doing. And most significant works come out of misunderstanding. They come because you don't know what you're doing. But it is the path to attempt to understand that is what you're looking for. The path by which you arrive at understanding is the whole point of the game, not the arrival.